appreciate for introductions. My name is Wei Li, the moderator of this panel discussing. Prior to the crisis, Industrial 4.0 was an area of great interest to many manufacturers. It was an exciting topic with huge potential benefits and was seen by many manufacturing management leaders. Today, we invite the experts to join our panel discussing Navigating Industry Focused Digital Transformation to co-create the ecosystem of Industrial 4.0. Let's welcome Armin, Industrial Advisor of SAP Germany. John, Senior Director of Advantech IoT America. Rick, Sales Manager of Advantech IoT Europe. From MPI 2020, Industry 4.0 study showed 83% manufacturing leaders confirmed that Industrial 4.0 is very important and 56% believe that Industrial 4.0 will have significant impact to their business. It also indicates that productivity and profitability are the most concerned. Also, from McKenzie report, it showed that fourth step toward agile manufacturing. A company who had to agile transformation will implement smart equipment first to make the equipment intelligent by connecting sensors or machines with IoT and then use the data which acquired from sensor or machines to make the dashboard. Dashboard can support a management team to have clear visibility of what went wrong and where is the space for efficient improvement and make correct decisions the third step and fourth step are well-utilized data for prediction and controlling. However, the COVID-19 pandemic has triggered extreme change across the globe. Survival looks like the first priority currently across different industries. Armin? Hello, everybody. This is Armin Puringer from SAP in Germany. COVID-19 has been affecting the market and the manufacturing behavior. SAP has always played an important role in the digital transformation of the manufacturing field and has launched the various applications in HANA platform. Do you think the Industrial 4.0 strategy will be changed? The COVID-19 virus had obviously impact on the supply chains, which were basically broken for system relevant goods like our masks, toilet paper, healthcare equipment in general, or disinfection liquids. So the focus will be for the future on higher resilience of supply chains, and that can be achieved by stronger focus on second sourcing, increased redundancy of supplier networks, by a deeper integration of data exchange. So get away from one-time import-export into live data connections. The network aspect of this, it is that uh, we see that there will be a stronger cooperation between st stakeholders like governments, producers, and technology suppliers like SAP in order to secure future demand and supply. From a governmental point of view, there is strong activity underway to define these system relevant goods and to secure their supplies for the future. All this means in the end that we are working at SAP to offer technologies to, for establishing a business network between the key stakeholders. And in an industrial context, that means that with our Industry for Now strategy, uh, we are working on a connected supply chain for manufacturers. And on the other hand, of course, we are working with our strategy on the vertical integration of relevant applications in production. And this all 
will be applied to another need in industry, that is a higher flexibility in production to be more able to produce even low and fast changing uh, batches of goods in the same production environment. Thanks, Armin. Advantech WisePass cooperated with SAP recently to add applications to support manufacturing in digital transformations. Do you think this will be a good model and how can we work together to accelerate the digital transformation of manufacturing? A good model is characterized by a couple of items. Uh, the first one is modularity. This is essential in the age of the intelligent enterprise. This in turn drives the need for open standards for collaboration, data exchange and interoperability. All this as a third important item, all this is based on a cloud-based architecture. So the SAP business technology platform is the base for all our applications and it enables our database data management it enables the development and integration of applications and all this is done with a strong analytic focus and using of new technologies like artificial intelligence machine learning and so on in our collaboration with Advantec we see our business technology platform as a business-driven, business-oriented platform. The WISE platform as a service from Advantech uh, has a strong part in connecting to automation equipment, enabling automation equipment and connecting to the shop floor. So every customer is really in the need uh, to connect the different platforms from his key technology suppliers and uh, to allow the vertical integration of all the different uh, data flows and the applications and on the other hand to enable an entire uh, complete security architecture for his shop floor up into the office level. In this context we see that the Open Industry 4.0 Alliance uh, is playing a major role in applying the principles of Industry 4.0 in real-life applications in production. So, a good model in this context, as described, lives from open standards, modularity of applications and cloud-based deployment. Appreciate Armin's deep explanations. Hi, John. You have so much experience in America, especially in Industrial 4.0 area, and see a lot of companies heading for transformation. Can you share with us some ideas how to plan and work on transformation? There has been a tremendous amount of buzz and discussion around IIoT and Industry 4.0. Business leaders believe that their companies should be engaged in employing this technology, but for what? Industry 4.0 and the digital solutions that it manifests are designed to help businesses run better. Businesses are looking for better and improved outcomes, whether it's efficiency, productivity and output, increased uptime and availability, or improved quality or reduced scrap. They are looking for lower maintenance costs and most importantly, improved profitability. So in very simple terms, digital transformation is about collecting, operating data, and turning it into actionable information so that operators can make better decisions, reduce pinch points in production, and improve maintenance practices. To realize this value, a business needs the right partners. Every partner brings a specific set of knowledge and expertise, whether it's the sensing knowledge, data collection and networking, the expertise in computing platforms, application expertise, technical system integration expertise, and most importantly, process expertise and domain and market expertise. 
Advantech provides a very important base layer in this overall pyramid. We provide robust, reliable, and ruggedized, industrially hardened solutions for the factory floor and the enabling software to increase software development speed to market. We look to our ecosystem of partners to deliver other parts of the value chain. If you notice the red box, it kind of shows the value that our partners add for our ultimate end user manufacturing customers. iFactory manufacturing end user customers are in search of improved business outcomes, predominantly in discrete manufacturing industries such as automotive, consumer packaged goods, food and beverage, high tech equipment, and so on and so forth. Advantech enables the ecosystem of suppliers to create and deliver the value promise of Industry 4.0, providing the underlying platform on which our ecosystem partners build their solutions for our collective end users, manufacturing customers. These are domain-focused system integrators, automation machine builders, software developers, service providers. Advantech provides support to the ecosystem with a myriad of channels, including direct, through e-commerce portals, and through our channel partners. The beauty of the IIoT solutions is that they can be configured to solve virtually any business problem. With that in mind, it's important to start with a business need first and let these drive the IIoT solutions deployed. Often I speak with a customer that feels the need to start employing IIoT solutions, but because they are fearful, they may get left behind. As a result, they buy into a solution and start trying to figure out where it fits. It is far better to start with the end in mind and use the right IIoT solutions to solve real-world business problems today. This drives real and measurable value very quickly. For this reason, when engaging with our IIoT customers, we first start by understanding their business and business needs. We then move on to translating these into technical requirements. Once business needs and technical requirements are clearly defined, then we can select the right partners and the right solution. This leads to a winning design that first solves the immediate business need, does so with the fastest ROI, proves the value of IIoT, and leads to additional rollouts. Appreciate John's great opinion. Hi, Rick. Industrial 4.0, this sentence, is coming from Europe. Can you share with us your observation, especially after COVID-19, what are the changes of demand from factory leaders? Thank you really for uh, these questions. And uh, let me try to uh, deep dive a little bit of what I see and uh, my observations around uh, this whole uh, story around. The digitalization process in manufacturing areas were already on, on the move. And uh, people see that, that uh, digitalization really helps and get aggregate more data and process information. Uh, the pandemic, uh, in this case COVID-19, uh, really start realizing that the manufacturers need even more data and that the connection between the processes need to be more optimized even. And so the necessity of, of bringing really the value into a production process, the needs for that is getting bigger and bigger. But saying that, uh, that's not the only threat they see. Uh, cyber threats are even getting worse. Uh, we need to protect ourselves more. The more you get things connected, the more threats you can get of your processes and around your processes. Um, and that's something where manufacturers said, yeah, you know, it's all nice digitalization. We understand that it is needed, but what about cyber threats? So the companies are changing also from OT layer constructions to IT because something on IT level need to be equipped into the operation processes. And of course, there you see the conflict that OT people has no clue about IT and the other way around. So there need to be a mix of, of in the organization. And it's a big learning curve from this kind of companies. On top of that, there is another thing, it's zero trust. The data and data integrity is a must to understand that if I get this data, is this a real data, is not manipulated the data or whatever, that it is really trustful to make my next decision. Because the decision will be in the future automated instead of reviewed by operators and then take an action on the floor. And that's, that's the big challenge we have. Because on the end, what is needed its costs need to still need to go down and the performance of the manufacturing sites needs to go up. Um, in that sense also, I will show you a little bit how we worked with one of our partners on the solution to create really something very simple on the end for the user, but it's complex. We did it with seven companies to create a whole platform solution. So zero trust area, implementation, security layers, and to avoid threat solutions. And of course, making sure that the costs go down and the performances go up. 
with the industry, with cool industries in this case, I will show you this nice video and explain how the world starts making, let's say it's more simpler. This is Adam, production manager of a 24-7 operating dairy factory. Adam has a problem with the temperature of the milk. He is desperate and does not know the cause of the problem. Searching on the internet, he finds from sensor to data. From sensor to data has the solution to retrieve data from machines and production lines and make it visual on the dashboard. The statement from from sensor to data is, if you can't measure it, you can't improve it. He is curious what the cause of the cooling problem could be and sees that the smart cool box can help him find the solution. The smart cool box has different sensors. For example, temperature, pressure, and vibrations. Adam orders on the website the smart cool box with temperature, pressure, and current sensors. The smart cool box will be delivered. He is enthusiastic and opens the box. Then he starts to install the sensors on the cooling tower. Then he plugs the sensors to the IoT master. Adam connects the IoT master to the Adventech modem and the data will be collected. He opens the dashboard from from sensor to data and configures this data. Adam is satisfied to see the information and is happy that he found the cause. The motor of the cooling tower is broken. He calls the service agent to repair the motor and the motor will be repaired the next day. Adam is happy and goes home by bicycle. At home, Adam looks once on the dashboard, sees everything in control and enjoys the evening. From sensor to data improves your business with online data collection and monitoring. Simplicity and quality are the key words from from sensor to data. Thank you very much and uh, coming back on uh, the last part of it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and explanation around it. So you, what you see indeed is it's, it's very simple for the user. It's giving you, let's say, dashboard information created by an expert, a domain expert about the technology of cool towers because only data doesn't say the operator anything. Uh, you need to have the values and understand your processes around it. So together with Martin, uh, he creates that whole platform solution. But saying that also, there's a part of security layers, and, and, and this is what we try to show here also, uh, that what does Advantech provide in his platform on security layers, but also what should be the user doing. The user still is partly of, of responsible part of the security layer, so it needs to be uh, constantly upgraded on firmware. So we need to help companies like Martin, how is the upgrade regular need to be set up, how the processes, how, how do we get there, so how can we do the provisioning processes and the upgrade processes. So in this picture we all create it together. And, and, and I ask also Martin to give a quote on that, like how do you see this kind of co-creation and cooperation together. So in this case co-create with Advantech is using each other's strengths and beliefs. We believed in the story, we understand what he wants to achieve. But technology point of view and get things together with seven companies was not an easy but on the end, we get all, let's say, all the dots together and to understand this is the best solution. And then, of course, it's first investing and then later on we can do the harvesting. And that is the quote from Martin. And thank you very much for all watching me. And Willy, back to you. Thanks, Rick, for sharing your great ideas. As Army mentioned, IoT to ERP will be quite important in the future since the process and procedure automation can be more flexible for manufa manufacturers by using edge to ERP service powered by SAP. Connecting iFactory iApp with ERP, manufacturer can improve the productivity by monitoring OEE and using prognostic and health management to improve OEE. On the other hand, iFactory also provides energy management system to monitor the status of water, gas, oil, and electricity for automatic operation. Also using statistic process control to track quality and the measurement of inspection. Thanks for joining with us in co-developing the future of Industrial 4.0. And also thanks to Armin, John, and Rick of your great sharing today.